What's up, guys? It's ZD Gamer here, and welcome back to another direct discussion. This and um, of course, but I'm not alone. We got some people joined with me. We got first up, we have Damien. Hello. We got the guy Kevin Celebi. Good morning, afternoon to you all. Shazder. Hello, internet. And Texas Man Gaming. Howdy, Nintendo fans. If you guys did not, did not, did not have not seen one of our direct suggestions before, basically what we're going to be doing is going all over the direct that happened earlier today, and just basically giving our thoughts and opinions and but not over it. And of course, the gameplay is on the screen, so you guys can follow along and uh, uh, leave you all opinions in the comments. So, but that was get started. Uh, I think the first thing we what a quiet day. huh? <laughs> What's up? That was a quiet stop it. <laughs> yeah. Now, for, off, starting off, we have we we have, we have the basically the allure behind um, arms itself. Now, any of you guys have any particular opinions on what um, on arms itself and just find us more or anything? I mean, it's clearly some kind of genetic mutation, obviously. <laughs> yeah. It looks to be that they're gonna have like a story mode or something. But it doesn't have anything actual added to it. It it definitely seems like they. It's um. I guess you. To me, it looks like a. It's like Pokemon tournament esque. So they're, they're, it's like it's similar, but not. It makes sense. Yeah. It's kind of like Tekken. That's why. It, that's yeah. Like Gotham. It's kind of like Tekken, but it's removing that 2D aspect and going for full 3D battles. Right. Yeah. Um, now, personally, though, this is my opinion, the, the, the ARMS is, uh, it was, it's an interesting game, I'll say that much for a fact, but they look, understanding the lore behind it and like what, what these characters are more about, it's just, it's, I don't know, I don't know, I, 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 the direction they're taking is kind of not what I expected. Yeah, they went in depth with each character, like, um, Spring Man, how he's very enthusiastic about boxing or whatever. Um, none of them really stand it out to me as much as they should have, but it was nice to look at what their moveset was, but not their actual lore and background. It's de it's de it's definitely interesting because it, I, I I definitely agree with you, Shad, to do where how the get went in depth on each of the um each of the characters. But also it, it, giving their opinion, giving their the personalities and, and, and such. And personally, um, there's only one. And Jarrah's gotten my take because I just like I'm, I'm a fan of ninjas. But I mean, is there a character that kind of speaks to you guys? I mean, no, so I know you said you, there's no one in particular, but I, I kind of like Min Min. Min Min. Like that Min Min. Yeah. Very fast, speedy oh. character. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah, I would have to say like Min Min and the one with the hair. Um, um they, a lot, a lot of them have hair. <laughs> okay, the one with the hair as the hand. That one. Oh, um, I don't know. I, mean, I, I literally saw the strict. Twin tail. Twin tail. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you saying? I only will have duty. <laughs> um, Damien. I think. Uh. I think Min Min and that slime guy, whatever that I forget what that slime guy is called. Oh, um, I forget his name. Felix. Hey. So, uh, they're very interesting characters. How Min Min has that dragon on, then um, hmm. I don't really have anything. It's it it. it it's not just the arms with these characters as well it's just like they not to mention these uh, these elements these side of these um these um effects that can that can come along with each, each one of these arms that you that you can whip oh yeah the elements are gonna be crazy yeah. i'm already liking the element of bias <laughs> i kind of figured you would <laughs> <laughs> I am already, like, when i play this i'm gonna be using ice and stun oh oh well just avoid you at all costs then apparently <laughs> <laughs> is that freeze tax oh yeah. god <laughs> Honestly, for me, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more towards the, um, towards fire, actually. 
I've, 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 I've always been a fan of fire, to fire just, just in general. I've been a, I like fire type Pokemon, and I just seeing fire type as a as an element for arms is just kind of interesting. I mean, I'm definitely experimenting with all the other elements as well. Just as far as I can tell, fire just suits me, I guess. So you're one. Well, of I do feel like, like blind people. is gonna be the most useless element. Oh my god. <laughs> And you said I'm, I'm one of those what, Chester? Okay. Uh, well, that. Like, love, love those good old fire types when, you know, water is clearly the best starter to you, but what else? I mean, I can't argue that water is good. I definitely I definitely <laughs> didn't pick Pip up in, in fourth gym when I first played it. <laughs> but, um, I've always been a fan of fire types. But, to, but we're not here talking about Pokemon, it's all about arms. Now, can, um, we mentioned Spring Man, Spring Man a little bit. Now we, we know we've he was one of the few first few characters that we've seen. And what do you guys think of Spring Man in, in general as, as a character? I think he's more of the general all around character, kind of like how Mario is in Smash Bros. He's just the yeah. standard character that for everybody. Yeah, that's my thoughts exactly. That's actually the same. That's what, when I when I saw Spring Man, I actually compared him immediately right to Mario. He's, 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 He's like he's like the Mario of Arms. Yeah. Yeah. He's like mm -hmm. a he's like a stability between like agility, uh, speed, damage. Like he's completely balanced. Okay. Yeah. I believe he, he has a little guard he uses when he when, when he went to do a flip to to um, deflect attacks and that. Yeah. That looks. A special thing. Yeah, that looks that that can definitely be useful. I'm not sure. How like what like if it, if it can really deflect a lot of things, that that's that's something more to like test in game. But I mean, he's like he's like y'all say he's an over he's an all around character and he's like the Mario of Arms. And I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll be many myself as a Spring Man. <laughs> <laughs> I do know when I saw this special technique, it reminded me of Dragon Ball Z, where they would just go in the fighting animation, just completely throwing punches at each other. <laughs> Um, Damien, what do you, you got any thoughts? Uh, Spring Man? Yeah. Um, not really. Is he not, is he not your cup of tea? No. Alright, uh, Celebi, do you have any pointers you wanted to bring up? Uh, they actually got me with this, because it appears that his main element is fire, so I'm curious if or main elements are fire and wind. I'm curious if they actually get sort of some kind of like a stab boost like they do in Pokemon, like in Pokemon. That's... They use those main arms. That is very interesting. I, I, they, did, they, yeah. they didn't touch on that, but I mean, I wouldn't I, be surprised. I think it's just based on the arms, though. Yeah, that, it, it definitely could be, but the potential for it to be a, potentially a boost in attack, if, if for using the helmet, that goes with your character, and that, that I can see it happening. Now, of course, we're gonna talk about a little bit more boost later because a couple of the arms during equipped with that. But the next character they go about is Ninjar, which is a character I personally play for uh, 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 my favorite personal favorite out of arms uh, thus far. Yeah. What 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 do you guys think about Ninjar? Uh, well, I think personally, he's I think he's probably one of my favorites. I really like kind of the speedy. Speedy types, um, so I could see if if I were to play arms, that'd probably be one of the main fighters I'd like to use. Catch me in that yeah, majority. Yeah. Oh god, no! Just teleporting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Got a block. With teleport. Nope, can't hit me there. Teleport. Yeah, that the, actually the fact that he can you he can teleport while guarding is actually a very useful tactic, especially if your shield's low. Oh yeah. yeah. If only they had that in Smash. Oh wait, yeah they do. You roll. <laughs> <laughs> or you can, or you can taunt, you can down taunt with a Mega Man. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's 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 a thing. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Going to like this little beam thing, you can't get hit. That should not be a thing. <laughs> but I'm trying to think here. Um, with the, with the jar personally, um, besides his ability to evade and everything, is this? 
this is something else I I want to go and point out because of course we've done Spring as well. They they they've mentioned particular combos with each character as far as arms are used. Do you guys particularly think those are like the ones they believe they recommend, or is do you, do you believe there's a better setup for them? I'm pretty sure those are the combos they recommend, like with the characters. Salabi? Yeah, I just need a... Oh, you're good. I believe for what it is, I believe that it's a very basic set. It's vi It could be for, like, beginners. Until you can start experimenting with actual arms, those should be the sets that you use. You want to sure. get the game quickly. Yeah, I'm sure those are, like, the, the sets that maybe you start out with. Maybe each of the fighters can want those three sets of arms that you could use as the first start out, kind of. Yeah, it's basically like the tutorial starter mode where here you start getting all these arms, put them on and see how they work. If you don't like them, you can mix and match them up however you want. Makes sense, makes sense. I mean, as they, as they mentioned, we'll cover this more a little later, but they've mentioned that you have, there's a lot of arms arms that, are, that you can you can get a hold of in the game, and obviously no one character is, is just settled on one type of arm. Obviously, yeah. each arm will have its own effect on each character, but I mean, that's all, that's for the player to experiment and to test and see what they favor the most. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, just, that's the best essence of arms in itself, just test and try. Yeah. Is there any other any other pointers you guys want to give us about Springman or Ninjar before we move on to the next character? Ninjar seems like a very nice agile character, like you guys have said. I feel like that's one character that I would also personally use. Yeah. All right. Now, now this is just my per. And I, I, I'll probably be making a lot of references to Smash about this because it's a fighting game. But <laughs> <laughs> we've we've we noted that um. Mario and Springman are basically the one and the same as far as between arms and smash. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking, I'm looking at Ninjaro, and as much as I hate to admit this, he looks like the little Mac of arms. Oh, God. Speedy, evasive, and apparently looks, looks annoying. Uh. Though I don't feel like he's as tied down as little Mac, he seems like a little more versatile. Yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't get that middle like vibe because like, how he's able to move around so like so quickly. I feel like Ninjara would be like the most difficult to master is because he's like super fast and he can teleport, but you can get countered by that. Yeah, because if you get up, if you get too predictable with your teleporting, you're gonna get hit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean that's ba that's basic fighting games one on one. Alright, it's, it, if there's anything else, if, if there's n nothing else you want to say, we're gonna, we're gonna move and move on to the next character, which is Master Mummy. Uh, Mummy who heals with his bandages, which makes absolutely zero sense to me. I, I think it meant like every time you shield, you would heal if you're not getting damage or something. From what I it it, it, it seems, as he's shielding, his he, he, he heals he heals himself like. So as long as his shield is good, he can he, he can heal. Yeah. So I don't feel like it'll be too broken because I'm pretty sure, that, like you said, the shields do ha they, the shields do get weaker over time. So once the shield breaks, I'm pretty sure a stun will be in will be admitted, like in Smash Bros. or other games. Yeah. Or if they can get it out of right the time, it's a very slow and bulky character. So maybe be able, if he can get enough hits or be able to block enough. He could theoretically heal up to his maximum health again. Yeah. Depending on the healing rate. Yeah. yeah. There's a good chance, though, with the, with the, with the healing rates. Seeing it, it, it looks like he's the only character that he's capable of doing so. It won't be extremely viable. Okay, I won't say viable, but um, it's um not going to be a fast rate since it could he it, it would be end up being abused. Yeah. But, I mean, like normally when you see someone who's able to do that, like, okay, I'm just gonna block and I'm gonna just keep healing. But you're, when you think that that, okay, they're a fast character, I can't catch them. But Master Mummy, he's big, he's heavy, and he's slow, so that doesn't really work in his favor. So it kind of counteracts the idea. I want to spam healing. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. And onto his arms, plus his healing, I would think, like, I know ice, stun, or blind would be pretty helpful into, you know, having the opponent not be able to touch you while you heal, so you can be able to get your max health back. I can I can definitely see that being a being a thing, especially with uh, I think it was what was one of his arms? Let me look here. Uh, one of his arms. What's where's the name? At? It was, okay, I'm gonna get the name here. Okay, well, like what what since he has that his, his basic ones are active or the Megaton, Rage Torture, and the Phoenix. I believe the Phoenix would actually be beneficial to him, especially with his healing his, his healing ability. Yeah, being able to just burn everything and then. Hey, have the person do get a lot of damage, you can heal back and then be able to win from having so much health. Yeah, now we've okay. I'm not gonna say this, I want you guys to kind of tell me know if you if you could if, what kind of character did you compare me, me, Mega Mummy to? Mechanical, oh, I mean, like an other game, not, not, not in um, not in ours. Oh. Hmm. I'd say he's kind of like Ganondorf of this game. Very slow, but he can hit like a truck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just imagine the truck on your fist. Oh, in this case, looks like they look like they're like giant maces. <laughs> <laughs> but um, actually, Ganondorf said Ganondorf's Ganon cool, but I actually thought Ganon again kind of a um a fuse between Ganon and Bowser to an extent, since Bowser has tough like like tough like was like. Like tough, tough, tough body, something like that. Like at the beginning of at the lower percent, where he doesn't, he, he can't take damage for light hits, or he take, can't take knockback. But that's kind of like how Mummy is. He's able to walk forward, and take a light hits, and not be affected. So, so, so someone like Ribbon Girl or Spring Man with these light punches, he can take those for days and just keep walking forward and advancing on you, and then you can be fast, but he's gonna close in on you eventually. Yeah. And I would suggest he's more like of the the heavyweight class of the entire game because he seems to be the most heaviest with his, especially his wrecking ball hands. The purple one, I don't know what those the, are the Megaton. Yeah, yeah, the Megaton. And if he's able to close in closer, and since those go really slow, you can be able to get in and get a lot of damage out pretty easily, even though you're really slow. Yeah. And if, for instance, if you're closing in, your opponent can't is trying to get away. Using the Phoenix is actually is a good, is, is a good option since the Phoenix actually can curve around and catch your opponent from when they're trying to trying to retreat. Yeah. But the same with same with his retorture. Hmm. Now is it, it now? Mega Mummy is the, it, as a character. Is w- would you any of you consider trying him out? If I get bored one day, I think I'd try him out just to see how he operates and see if he can kind of be viable. I mean, there's no question that he won't be viable. Yeah. Right. He, he, well, he's viable to me. I, like I said earlier, I kind of like speedy characters. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more of like a medium type of not too fast, not too slow, but is able to give enough damage so he might be a kind of sort of fit towards me but i would have to just try him out in general all right so a lot, it's basically a lot for most of us a lot a lot of ex- experimentation yeah what do you think texas would you would you consider trying him out maybe plan, picking him up i mean I, of course i would trying out um uh, every fighter but when i can uh, of course i have some of my favorites like ninjara and I think one other one, that, uh, one of the new fighters that was announced, I, I really, I really one stood out to me. Um, but uh, I see how Master Mummy um, is a is a really diverse fighter. It's one one of the bulkier ones. I think maybe one of the only bulky ones that we've heard of so far. I don't know if there'd be another bulky one, but if he's the only one, then that definitely makes him a good choice. I think he is only he is one of the two that's current that is currently as bulky, but he's probably probably out of the two probably he's probably he's definitely the bulkiest. Yeah, but I think he did skip the other fighter. Oh no, we're actually on him right now. Is, is the next one being up being is being Kid Cobra. Uh, you skipped one between um, Spring Man and Ninjara. Uh, it, did, it did not show her actually. I went straight past through it. I don't think she's till later. 
Yeah, right after Spring Man. Oh, she's at the very beginning, right after the uh, Spring Man. Looking. I'm sh I'm sh oh, wow, I, it literally went right over. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you all for telling me that, because I actually, I swear, I do it later. But, uh, okay, let me, let me get our name here. Can I, okay, yeah, Mechanica. <laughs> I play skipped over, I do apologize. Right, we're, we already know ZJ's most forgettable fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, um, I'm, I'm sorry. Mechanica is just. I have a character, I just don't know. It's, it's, he's out of place. It's supposed to be arms, not idea, robots. I think the idea is to give sort of an underdog to the game. Say a person with without this enhancement created their own arms in order to participate, I already said this, to participate with the heroes that she admired. I, I I can see it. That's definitely pro that definitely um fan oh, what's it um um I don't know fa that's, that's strong fan base I guess I don't know I don't know how to explain it. That's taking being a fan girl to the max level right there. Uh, yeah. your own <laughs> just to follow your fan the superstars. You ain't you ain't lying about that. <laughs> now um, I will say the only my mechanic. Huh? Where right, right, I can find the weapon she is using, because I literally just saw it. Where's that? Gives a whole this. Uh, I guess you can say this gives a whole new meaning to hammer time. <laughs> with the what? The, the hammer time. <laughs> hammer time. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, <laughs> jokes aside, but um, Mechanica, what do you guys think about her? Another kind of bulky character, just less slow than the mummy, sort of like in between the mummy and uh, and Spring Man. So yeah, you, I could see that. You would see, you, you wouldn't really call her a, mid, a middleweight or a, a super heavyweight like a, like a, like like mum, like mummy. It's like so like it's like a heavyweight basically, like the middle of the class. Yeah. All right. Especially with that hover ability, I mean, think, wh wh who are you thinking you are? You thinking you're Samus? Is that jetpack on your back? What are you thinking? I mean, I can see it. I can, I, I can see uh, Mechanica being Samus. Uh, uh, Damien, have any inputs on uh, Mechanica? She's a very unique character. I like how she like hovers in the air, but her arms can't like go. So she uses like um um what are those called? She she built a oh I am basically a robot machine with arms like that. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I definitely give him, I definitely give her credit, give, give her credit for creativity. Yeah. She kind of, I mean, can't she kind of wonder though if, they, if there's a if there's a story behind it, will they really get some more backstory on this, like on, on her making, on designing this kind of stuff? Maybe they'll do something similar to what they did with Street Fighter, where they, uh, where you beat the story mode, or where you beat the. Uh, Grand Prix mode with a certain character, and you get a little bit of detail about their past or what they're doing after they win. I can see that. I can, I can definitely actually. I can not only see it, but I, I actually do behind that because I definitely I play Street Fighter Five, and I I enjoy being able to see a little bit behind each character. Mechanic, it would be definitely one of those characters. I would definitely. I'm just interested to see, just, just to know a little bit more about her. Yeah. It's kind of. Look like it. Yeah, as you said before, like she she's not like the others. She's not one of the mutated like kind of ones where that comes with the arms. She's kind of like the already human one, and she just built a big mech herself just so she could participate. I mean, credits cred credits given with credits due. It's a very it's a, it, she obviously does know what she's doing. Not sure if I would. Player, but I mean, I got, like we all like we, we, we can say this over and over. The uh, basically, we just you're gonna try its character out and we'll fi find the one that fits the best. Because there's a chance yeah. that the characters we like may not fit us. 
Right. Right. I think Min Min would be one of my characters I would play. Uh, we should be coming for Min Min for, for too much longer, but un for Min Min we have a new character that well, actually was revealed in the direct, I, which I, I did not see coming. Which is Kid Cobra. Very interesting uh, kind of design. It's kind of based like on a snake, mostly. Um, and a, I guess I'm a kid, Kid Cobra. I guess that's how he got that. I mean, I, I guess he has a YouTube channel because he, he, he's out there, out there for them, out there for them views. Yeah, the, them streams. <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, I'm, 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 if he's in streaming, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm down for a collab. <laughs> yeah, and and like, I see it. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to think. Go ahead, can't, can't, uh, well, go ahead, go ahead, give, give, give you guys um. You guys, are your opinion on on, on King Kid Cobra? I think he looks um, it looks kind of like all around. I'd say I didn't see really too much um, how he's like very speedy, like Ninja, or very floaty, maybe like Ribbon Girl. But I see maybe kind of more near all around near Spring Man. Um, but I definitely want to point out what really stood out to me here was with the stage that they're playing on here with King Pro King Pro Cobra. Um, they get on like the little spinners and they can um, spin around on the. It's like, um, what's that? I don't know that. Maybe that other. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. They're standing on that and then they're just battling it out on those, which I thought was really cool. That, it's just going to quickly touch on that, um, that um, the, the rotating disc that we just, I, I previously just saw. That's an interesting stage. That's a. I, I, we we I expected to see no stages, but that was definitely not one I expected to PC. Yeah, and it's a very unique stage. There most likely will be like different stages with different hazards because that they're just showing a little bit of a taste of like this is a stage that's gonna have a variety to it and you have to use your character in a certain way to get through it and whatever. Yeah. Obviously each care each um, stage has their own, has their own Gimmicks that we need, but that you need to overcome with each character, and obviously, they the Nintendo doesn't seem to under, doesn't seem to go under, doesn't want to do um, like like Smash with all these crazy stages. They want to they I guess they I guess you give them the simplicity of Mario Kart stages to an extent, and then the um, I don't know the um, I, ironic I don't know it's like a make they, it's like they just they do a whole new thing out there that I'm, I I kind of enjoy. <laughs> Especially for, especially for being a new IP. Yeah. I do love how they introduced him like so early on in the direct. It just showed like their ambition and like what they're actually planning to do with this new title. It's it definitely seems like they're trying to push it as hard uh, uh, hard uh, as hard or if not harder than they did with Splatoon, Splatoon when it first dropped. Yeah. Yeah, I, de I definitely see similarities with uh, ARMS and Splatoon. Definitely two new IPs, about two years apart, and but they're coming out the same year with Splatoon 2 as a sequel. ARMS is a brand new game, and they're really trying to push that with the new IPs and everything. I'm really, I'm really glad to see Nintendo creating the new IPs and just adding them to the whole Nintendo uh, name and putting a good name on it. Because with all the, all the marketing, advertising they're doing for this. Um, Especially on the Switch, um, it's really, it's really been doing Nintendo a lot of good. I, guess, I, I definitely, I definitely see it. One thing I felt like I should have mentioned sooner is that uh, this game reminds me a lot about Punch Out, an older Nintendo ID that hasn't had much to be done. Besides that, Little Mac to Smash. Yeah, besides Little Mac and Smash, so I feel like this is sort of a, a, a spiritual sequel to that. I can see that actually. Yeah, I can see it too. It's like a tribute to Punch Out, but more polished and modernized. Yeah. If that's what Nintendo was going for, Nintendo, you did a good job. <laughs> but uh, it's no, no, of course. We, we, like, arms with new IP, and I've, I've, I've seen the last crate that I'm picking it up. Are you guys picking it up? 
I literally, everyone said everything, you all answered all at the same time, so I literally got none of that. But <laughs> <laughs> One at a time. Alright. No. I don't know. Anyone, just, wanting, just don't talk all at once, please. <laughs> I am definitely gonna get it. Okay. Any, any particular reason behind that, Celebi? I really enjoy the way the game looks. It seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's the same reason I didn't get Splatoon 2. So I can have a new experience with Nintendo and just just enjoy a game for once, you know? So you say you didn't, you didn't, you didn't enjoy Splatoon 1? Huh? You say you didn't, you didn't enjoy Splatoon 1? No, I never even played Splatoon 1. I just oh, okay, played. you need to be educated. <laughs> It looks like a lot of fun. It looks like a lot of fun. That's what I mean, the Switch and Splatoon 2. Shazter, ed ed educate this man. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh my god. Splatoon <laughs> is life there. <laughs> oh, thank god. Finally, someone said it. I did not want to be the first person to say it. I got okay, you. Okay, so you, unfortunately, you. everyone, Zobie needs to go and leave. So, everyone say bye, Celebi. Bye, Celebi. Yeah, but bye bye. Thanks, thanks for sticking around, Celebi. <laughs> Alright. Now, Damien, did you. Damien, did you. I don't hear you. Are you planning to get the uh, game? I don't even have to switch. Well, I mean, neither do I, but I'm only planning to get it, and it's just. We're thinking hypothetical here. I don't really know. It depends how far I get into it. Alright. And. About the war and stuff. So you you, you want to see more about it before you make a decision? Yeah. Okay. I I, I, I respect that. I respect that. I, I, I respect that. Okay. Now we wait. I think we said like what five characters you've seen so far. I think. Essentially, mm -hmm. Springman. Yeah. Yeah. Five, five, five characters. characters. Now, of course, I have a pause on the screen where it shows. Yeah, that, what, what shows the um when the sub menus being Grand Prix versus party uh, party match ranked fans local and all that kind of stuff. First off, I like how it's organized. On, on They're pretty some, simplistic. Very simplistic. Not not mixed. Not confusing like the Smash menu is. Come on, Sakurai, take notes. <laughs> 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 Shots fired, but I don't care. But uh, to, to be honest though, I'll say this. I saw when they say Grand Prix, I'm like. You really about to mix Mario Kart in this? Come on now. Uh, <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind, like, Mario Kart? Really? But thank god they did not. <laughs> that would not, I don't know how they would have done that. Now, we have, yeah, we, we have each one of these modes. Is there a particular mode you guys see, you guys just literally going ham inside, ham on it? On it? Definitely hoops. They're that they're, they're taking a new definition to get dunked on. Like you're literally dunking them with their own character. It's like you're it's just wow, that mode is one of the better modes I want to actually play in. I can see you you be, I can see you fiending on that. <laughs> <laughs> taking 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 smash dunks to a whole new level. Yeah, yeah I, I mean I was really surprised. About the whole other, the other modes thing about the the, the like the, the basketball type thing. We saw the the two on two combat as well before. But what was one of the other ones? I mean, they're, they're definitely very, very cool modes. Uh, I saw. Oh, like it was like a volleyball thing. You got to play a basketball. -ball. Yeah, and then the volleyball, v ball type thing. And uh, different modes they added. Um, they're really really interesting. I'm really glad they added that. Something I'm interested in personally is one on a hundred. Now that's just probably not in my own Smash talk because of multi man Smash. I always enjoy that almost my spare time. But one on a hundred seems like a very interesting challenge. It's really just to really test out your to test your just test your skills. Yeah. It's like let's say oh um, you got two new arms you unlocked. You don't want to go into ranked yet. You don't want to play against your friends. Do you understand them? You but understand you, them. But you, you, you. Where did Echo come from? I swear her neck up. <laughs> Caught me all golf cart. <laughs> oh, but, but, okay, there it is again. Oh, 
I'm waiting this time. I know it's coming back. There it is. It might just be um Discord. It might be, but that's just catching me off guard. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, 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 I lose yourself. I'm not trying to thought. Yeah. Well, I want to say something. Good. Um, when you say when I when I saw the versus thing, the first thing they're talking about with the all the, the multiplayer type stuff. Um, they talk about how, like the bombs and healing healing items that drop in into like the the ring during the battle, which I thought was really cool. They didn't they never talked about that before. So there's there's a way so that you, um, your your um, players can heal uh, the fighters, and then there's bombs too, which I guess just add maybe like an obstacle within the ring, just so that the fighters need to be on guard and avoid them in, in case they blow up. Yeah, and actually with the bombs, I want to go and touch on that. It adds a whole nother level of strategy to it because you look like okay, you, it's two v two, all right? You get you see this bomb on the floor on the ground, it's like, and you're like, okay, I can't get hit by this, but your team's like, oh, they're gonna avoid that bomb, so I'm gonna pressure it from the opposing side and push him into that bomb. And unfortunately, looks like Damien just had to dip out on us. Okay, bye, bye, Damien. <laughs> <laughs> so then there were three. There's most likely about to be two because I might have to go eat soon. That's all good. I mean, okay. we, we can always cut. We can always we can always cut off and come back to it later. Alright. Yeah. See, like, actually, that's once we get. I see. Once we get done with the um, these um, this little thing we're talking about, we'll, we'll cut it off. So. Yeah. Alright. So now, of course, each we got each, got each one of these modes. Or obviously, I, I obviously, obviously I favor one on a hundred, and I said, I think you said you favor favor B ball Texas. Oh no, I, I was just saying that, uh, I was just pointing out all the cool modes that they have. I think I would just, um, right now it sticks out to me just the regular versus. Um, uh, I don't really see myself playing too much of the other modes, but I, I do see that they're really cool. But I could try them out sometime if, if I get a chance. And of course we all know Shad is all about the groups. <laughs> yeah, dropping them dunks. Oh. I must dunk on you fools harder than I've ever dunked before. <laughs> Meet my meet my DK. You 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 I'll you'll find out what the dunk is. <laughs> uh, I still have the flashbacks. <laughs> and you'll never forget them. <laughs> yeah, and another cool feature I saw uh, this time with the two v two battles, where there's two two fighters on each, on each team. You get, the the two fighters are literally tied to each other. Like you can't move far uh, a certain amount of different distance away from each other you're stuck together within a certain amount of distance so uh, again that adds to the strategy but also um, you have to make sure you watch out be careful and um, it adds to make it more um, exciting and, and fun um, with all the if you if like if your teammate gets damaged you might get damaged a little bit too like if it's, especially with like a bomb or explosion type um, weapon you're using, then definitely that's going to affect both of, of the team members. Yeah, it's definitely not as free reign as far as 2v2 goes, as far as Smash is, because you can literally run all, all over the place to Smash, but apparently, but you, you, just not only, not only the fact that you're confined into it in a little arena, the fact that you're even restricted by a, by, by, by a string with your teammate is another thing, so you got, you, your movement has to be literally in sync. You can't be throwing, yeah. going off once, going one way, then your other team going another way, and you guys being getting in a bonk on the side, set ahead, and getting body bagged on the on, 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 on impact. Yeah, though, um, being tied together that does mean like you have to cooperate more. But it does concern me that like you're going to be grouped up with people that aren't as good or something. So either they'll need to have it to where like when you're grouped up with doubles, there needs to be bank doubles or like some type of category to where you're not just grouped up with randoms because if you're not as cooperative with them they might just disconnect and you might have to just fight on your own which i don't know if there's gonna have ai or not so that's something by itself and then you know not being actually able to cooperate with the other person and they're not actually having your actual fight style or whatever packed down yeah, and the, also the fact of the matter is that you, um, you, you can, you can yourself can actually hit your your actual teammate too, call, call, and, 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 and I'm damaging you. So obviously keeping keep team synergy is a thing, but it's also keep it watching where you're striking because you can end up knocking your own teammate out. 
Yeah, yeah. true. Which I can definitely see if there's a, if, 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 if online that that'll be a very big thing. That'll happen a lot, especially at least, at least in the early days of, of arms. Yeah. Uh, of course, of course, you're showing skill shot right now, and like, um, you guys see yourself using skill, playing skill shot at all? Not. Good. Y y are you saying your your aim is perfectly fine as it is? I play a sniper main in Splatoon. I think my aim's perfect. <laughs> You're a custom Flash <laughs> Junior main. We would have been over this. Oh God, no, please. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so I see skill shot. Definitely a really cool, uh, look, very interesting mini game. I can see they're not too as involved maybe as the regular battle wing. Um, in the ring, but um, definitely still uh, another mode there they added. Yeah, it's de it's, it's it's definitely got it. It's definitely um interesting. And now this is one thing I want to bring up. Now this is just me me, me being told because it's the way smashies, but the training mode, please, please tell me the training mode is actually going to be good. We saw a little bit of it. But at least tell me if there's like if there, if there is a combo count, which I doubt there is. But if there is, please make sure it's not broken. Please. That's all I'm asking. The training room is supposed to be helping you and like test out new arms and arm combinations. I would think that you would be more like getting used to the game during the Grand Prix or actual versus fights, not the actual training room. You're just testing out new arms or whatever. Yeah, but also we don't know exactly if that's all the training mode is, the training mode is capable of. We, we've only seen yeah. so little of it, so there's no telling what all the training mode, training mode actually is capable of, for, of, of help assisting you with. Of course, it helps with the alliance, but who knows what else it can potentially assist you with that, well, no other training modes in other games just don't. Yeah. Your thoughts, Texas? Um, on the, um... What was it? Training mode. Alright, training mode. Yeah, um, I could definitely. I think if, if I got arms, I'd definitely be on that. Probably a little, uh, a lot. Um, because, um, because I now probably need some training. But, um, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, I think all of us, when first starting out, we're going to at least need to get used to controls. Yeah. But I think there's one event that's definitely, a, there's one something that's going to probably help us out. And that'll be coming up later in the direct, so we'll talk about that later. Yeah, and actually, we're actually at a point where it says good new orange, which I, I believe that's a good place for us to stop for today. We can go ahead. I mean, we, we can pick up from there at, late, later on. All right. Uh -huh. All right. So, thank. I want to thank y'all so much for watching part one of this Nintendo Direct. If you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button down below. If you have are new, subscribe. And thank you to Shadster. Hey, and Texas, get it, Mudsdale. For, stick, for sticking with me for the to this for, for the part one, and I I, I can uh, pretty much guarantee the probably back for part two. Am I, am I right? Oh yeah. Alright. So again, thank y'all so much for watching, and until the until part two, we'll see y'all then. Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye.